Okay, I tried this once and it didn't work out. Uh, as you all know, we lost one of our great YouTubers. Mr. McCoy has passed away. And that's a damn shame because he's a great fella. And um, at the same time, he's not suffering through cancer anymore. He's not having to fight that nasty mess that it is. Um, but we're all deeply saddened because, you know, he's gone. And we're, the world, the YouTube family, we've all lost a great person. And it's not, it's hard to deal with. I mean, for me personally, it is. Um, I don't do death well. So, but one thing, I am a very spiritual person, and I do feel like he's all around us. I do feel like he's still here. For one thing, we have all these awesome videos. I remember asking him one time, well, you know, what got you into YouTube? He says, you know, he said, I wanted to do YouTube so my family, my grandkids, you know, had something to, to know me a little more, to know a little more about me. You know, they could go back and see the mill and what I, you know, what him and Mary Ruth did and all these things in the family. And I thought, you know, that's pretty dang cool. There's, he had a deep reason behind why he did the YouTube thing. And uh, I remember first meeting him. I was at the Bunyan show about three or four years ago. And we was, me and Nathan Feathers jabbering on about white oak and the different types of white oak. And Mike caught wind of what we were talking about and he, he joined right in and it was funny. You know, it was like, it was like you'd known him your whole life. Never met him before. Instant friends. So good of friends. We started horsing around, started, started busting each other's stones. I think he made a couple jokes about how tall I was. I'm, I gave him a hard time about, I said, now you saw mothers buying all that red oak. And black oak and I said you turn around and sell that black oak same as the red oak and I said how come you give us less for the black oak he says oh well you know that's just that's how it is oh we went back and forth and he he says how come all you loggers always send junk in and then want so much money for it and blah 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 and I said well you know it's just how it is oh man one of the regrets I have is I didn't get to have more story time, you know, more times to tell stories and to hear stories. Mike was full of lessons, full of wisdom. Most of the lessons he learned in his life was learned the hard way, which were, I feel, are best when told. Or the hard learned lessons are the best instilled in others when you, you know, try to teach them. He just had so many neat little things to talk about. And uh, I don't feel like he's gone. Just like just like when you, you know, you cut a tree down, some people say that tree's gone. It's not gone. It's dropped its seeds, it's not its acorns. More trees are gonna grow because of it. And not only that, when that tree was cut down, that, that log was milled into lumber, which could now be a piece of furniture. It could be in somebody's living room, dining room, bedroom hell it could be anywhere it could be a piece of hardwood flooring you know and a little piece of just like Mike saw them logs now that lumber one out there's a little piece of him in that board that lives on forever or that log that house log that used to mill them all the time there's a little piece of him in that so I don't I don't feel he's gone you know, he passed on his wisdom, lessons he, you know, told me a few. He said, oh, maybe you should try to do this, or oh, you know, hell, don't do that. And he was such a joy to be around. So, in this video, I'm going to kind of send, say fair, fairly well, say farewell, the best way I can, and that's cutting down some trees. 
Let's hope wherever Mike is, he, he hears them. And I hope wherever he is, he's milling. The logs are all veneer quality. And bought as cheap as could be. Sold for the highest price. Saws are sharp. I miss you, buddy. We all miss you. We really do. So. Was a cowboy I knew in South Texas. His face was burnt deep by the sun. Part history, part sage, part Mexican. He was there when Pancho Villa was young. And he'd tell you a tale of the old days. When the country was wild all around. Sit out under the stars of the Milky Way And listen while the coyotes howl They go, whoo-yip, whoo-yip, whoo Whoo-yip, 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 whoo Whoo-yip, whoo Now the longhorns are gone, and the drovers are gone, the Comanches are gone, and the outlaws are gone, Geronimo's gone, and Sam Bass is gone, and the lion is gone, and the red wolf is gone. Well, he cursed all the roads. And he cursed the automobile Said this is no place for an hombre like I am In this new world of asphalt and steel Then he'd look off some place in the distance At something only he could see He'd say all that's left now of the old days Damned old coyotes and me And they go Hoo-yip, hoo-yip, hoo Now the Longhorns are gone, and the Drovers are gone, the Comanches are gone, the Outlaws are gone, now Quantro's gone, Stan Wante is gone, and the Lion is gone, and the Red Wolf is gone. One morning they searched his adobe. He disappeared without even a word. But that night as the moon crossed the mountain, one more coyote was heard. And he'd go, Ooh, yeah.